Well, it's July 17th, 2022. The beautiful 94 Fleetwood Commodore Hibernation. I wanted it out in proper time this season because I didn't go until like September last year. I had one car show last year and I have um, a lot of Cadillacs and uh, I try and give each one of them uh, equal time. It didn't happen last year because I was building other things, but uh, this year things are getting a lot better. Either way, um, the car was taken out of storage, and I opened the trunk, and I put in two, two lawn chairs for the car show, and I went to close it. Nothing. So, I disconnected the wires from the power pull-down because I didn't want it to get damaged or keep trying to do anything. This was coming up and down consistently so I unplugged that as well. So I took this off and this here latches into there no problem when it's not mounted to the car. But if you can look really close, I know it's hard to see because it's getting very, very hard to see, but look at the alignment of that black latch and the silver piece. It looks to me like it's going ahead of it. Try it again. See it coming down? And look where the silver piece is. How in hell could that have happened? Look at it, you see, look at that. Sure as anything, that's ahead of the silver piece. Why? How did it get shifted? There's very little information online about this problem um one guy had an i think a 90 93 or 92 sts it was a totally different setup it wasn't power pull down this was was he says actually a little bit of an angle too but his was, it was more of an angle and he took a pry bar and pulled her back in the line and it, it latched but in my case it's not on an angle as much as it is this is coming down ahead of this which makes no bloody sense this is screwed fast to this with no washers or spacers so it shouldn't have gone back at all and this does not look like it has enough adjustment to move it ahead that much and the car was never hit so i don't know what the heck's going on but this is going to be a very popular video when i get the answer because there's nothing online there's a lot of general stuff Cadillac, if you Google Cadillac pull down, there's no schematics that I found so far. Nothing of any use to me. The videos do not apply to my specific problem. Some guys just show it working, which is fine, but I want to know why mine's not working. Um, another guy just replaced the whole unit, but I got a feeling my problem is not just within the unit. I think something is moved, and I don't know what it is yet. But when I do, I'm going to let you know because... Uh, I'm sure these videos down the road will help somebody in my position to find out why these things happen, what caused it to happen. I Again, I took this off, but I haven't taken this off. I wonder if there's any kind of adjustment on this, but not enough to explain why it's so far ahead of the silver part. That makes, that's just weird. I don't get it, but I'm going to figure it out. But I also wanted to tell you about the 87. It's coming out of the paint shop in a couple of days. And I, I was mostly missing this part here, which goes beneath the uh, filler neck of the Cadillac Brome 87. And I got this off of a junk Brome. It was almost cracked in three pieces, but I used um, JB Weld, and it really firmed it up nice. Like, it's it's stiff, it's perfect. And uh, as you know, JB Weld can be sanded, so I'm gonna sand this down and, and uh, prime it and spray the color of the body and put it back on. You never know when, when I'm done sanding it that it was ever repaired, so. JP Weld's awesome stuff, I tell you. It just fixes everything. It's great. Um, 
By the way, it's also good for sealing gas, gasoline leaks if you have one around your, um, uh, what do you call it, sending unit. Sometimes I find they leak, so they're better than any paper gasket because it's impervious to gasoline. So either way, it's great stuff. But um, thank you all for watching, and I will let you know when this trunk issue gets figured out. Um, I don't know what's causing it. But I'll let you know. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you down the road.